Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have some really, really massive news coming out of the League of Legends world to talk about as you guys can see up on the screen. We are mostly going to be talking about Yankos today because, uh, you know, I don't want to be the one to say I told you so and it's not exactly confirmed or anything like that, but it seems like we're starting to head that direction of, uh, you know, I made some videos previously about Yankos potentially leaving G2 and what his future options would be, whether it would be streaming, whether it would be coming to North America and whether that's that meant you know this team that team exactly how it would work out and some people definitely agreed and thought it was interesting it's obviously a lot of speculation and rumor and stuff but some people were absolutely just flaming me saying how stupid that would be uh yanko says he'll never leave europe yankos would never come to north america uh he's just gonna stream or he's gonna stay with g2 forever blah 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 but again we got a big update in this situation today and it's just gonna be uh really exciting and really interesting to talk about this uh we're gonna be talking about what exactly the news was what teams in north america would, would potentially be a good fit for Yankos, and then just in the end, how likely any of this is to happen. But before we get into that, I just want to mention real quick, if you guys have not already, please take a second and smash that like button. I would appreciate it so, so much. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm, uh, helping my channel grow more and more, getting my videos, content, everything out to more and more people. So that would be absolutely awesome. It's honestly the best and easiest way to help support my channel and my content if you are interested in doing that. Also, make sure you smash that subscribe button really quick as well. Helps you guys stay up to date on all my latest content so you don't miss out on any of the stuff we got going on in the near future because we got tons of content coming your guys' way. You don't want to miss out uh, on the latest news in the League of Legends world. With that being said, let's talk about this. Uh, here it is, the big clip from the crackdown. Uh, I'm wearing a jersey that has a lot of green stripes on it, so uh, we're kind of getting messed up with the green screen right now, but uh, haven't done laundry in a while, so we're running out of shirts and stuff. But anyway, uh, the crackdown, uh, Dominate, Perks, Thorin, they've been dropping a ton of bangers on us recently. You know, we got the news uh, of Wild Turtle leaking Pobelter's benching. Now we're getting this big story about Perks talking about Yankos. Uh, you know, whatever you think about Dominate, Thorin, whatever, they do a good job of getting stuff out of people. Uh, and the crackdown really has been a, a big success so far this year um so let's see what perks has to say basically like <clears throat> then Cavs started like talking a lot of yeah exactly and then yeah. i know that yankos wants to go to na after the this year uh and basically i i just talked to, i just so, uh, pretty crazy stuff. Obviously, Yank uh, Perk's dropping that bomb on us out of the middle of nowhere that Yankos might potentially want to come to North America last year. Now, I did not catch this live stream. Uh, I did not exactly hear the context of this. I don't know what they said after it. Obviously, Perk's is a guy who talks a lot of trash. He's a big memer. He likes to stir up controversy and stuff. Um, I can't actually go back and watch the VOD of this because I Will Dominate has his VODs behind the subscriber wall, and I don't really agree with that stuff, so I'm not going to subscribe just to get access to a VOD or whatever. Um, I, I think that is kind of dumb but you know whatever do you know more power to him uh i believe they upload all that stuff on youtube maybe that'll be coming out in the next few days and we can uh find out more about what exactly they were talking about but that short little clip is what got clipped it's, been, it's what's been kind of going around twitter uh and reddit and all that stuff of perch saying that yanko's believes that next year he wants to come to north america which is obviously a big big story and this is something i was talking about even a couple weeks ago i was on top of this uh talking about this might be something that happens and it, and it could happen for a couple of reasons one of the big main reasons uh that is actually kind of driving this is the fact that this is the uh eu uh the lec contract database when we take a look at fanatic one of the big things driving the story home is that self made the jungler for fanatic his contract expires november 15th of 2021 that is a big deal because there's all this talk about g2 self-made about g2 wanting to go after what could potentially be uh the best jungler in the lec whether or not you think yankos or, or self-made is better right now you know yankos a little bit older he's a little bit more experienced self-made seems to be that younger less experienced guy that is improving rapidly and, and might be a great fit for a team like g2 and is definitely a player that's going to be on their radar in the future going forward um and and if if self-made is going to be a free agent if fanatics roster is going to kind of be blown up because uh we can also see that uh, for Fnatic, Hillisang is also going to be a free agent on that date, um, as well as Bwipo. So who knows exactly what all those players are going to do, depending on how Fnatic does this year. All three of those players could go in different directions. They could stay together and go somewhere else. They could stay on Fnatic. You know, you just don't really know. But we know uh, with G2 uh, tweeting about all this stuff, with Carlos tweeting at self-made all the time, that at the very least, they are interested. Yes, Carlos says that they are just memes. He says he loves Yankos. He says Yankos is the best, blah, 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 blah. But we know that Carlos is kind of that evil mastermind at the end of the day, and he is kind of dropping hints. He is at least planting the seed in self-made's mind. Uh, 
and again uh, there's a ton of variables at play there it depends how fanatic does this year it depends how g2 does this year uh do they kind of flame out at worlds do they have a great uh performance at worlds would come up just short do they win worlds this year you know who knows uh and then depending on what happens obviously yankos would then have a decision to make because uh that's the other thing that yankos is under contract with g2 until 2022 uh but obviously perks was under contract with g2 until 2022 as well and he got bought out this last season you see that these moves still do happen the contract dates don't really mean too much because uh players can ask to be traded away they can ask to be bought out teams can just kind of buy them out at will they can move their players around uh you know you do have a ton of options it does make it easier when you're just a straight up free agent you can go whenever you want but there is going to be a market for Yankos. If he wants to leave and G2 believes they can get self-made to replace him and they can sell Yankos for a ton of money. We just saw how much money uh, G2 was able to sell perks for last year. You don't think they want to do that again with Yankos if they could potentially get self-made for, for cheap? Because self-made is going to be a free agent. They don't have to buy him from Fnatic. They can just get him and pay him his salary. Uh, and for someone like Yankos, they can get you know, maybe a couple million dollars for him, uh, especially from a North American team looking to spend a lot of money, which would be uh, pretty crazy. And it does make a lot of sense in a lot of ways if that is what Yankos is interested in doing. Now, obviously, he has a very, very lucrative uh, streaming career ahead of him, which he can do if he wants at any time. He's going to have the option to come to North America or he's going to have the option to play in, in the LEC or he's going to have the option to just retire. And those are all going to be on the table for sure. Uh, he has set himself up in such a position where he gets to call the shots. He can really do whatever he wants. He's going to have uh, just a ton of leverage. But if if what Perks is saying is true, and obviously he's a guy very, very close to Yankos. He's a guy who has that inside knowledge and this information. Uh, you know, maybe he just decided to drop this bomb for whatever reason. But it would kind of be interesting uh, and there would definitely be a market for him. Uh, and yeah, so as far as the teams that could potentially be interested, um, I think there is two teams that would make a ton of sense and then potentially one team that you know, would be a little bit of a stretch, but some people are kind of talking about the first team that I think would make a lot of sense for Yankos is 100 Thieves. Um, now, Closer is uh, under contract until 2023, but um, they are talking about someday becoming a resident, getting his green card sometime this year, meaning someday would be a resident next year, uh, which would give them two import slots. Uh, you know, if they if they did get rid of Closer and bring over Yankos, they would still have one more import slot open. And then all of a sudden, 100 Thieves would become uh, a pretty interesting team. That bot lane of FBI and Huhi, that top lane of someday, and then Yankos plus an import mid laner. I don't know exactly who that would be, if they could land some crazy import mid laner, or if it would be like Nemesis or somebody like that. Um, but that team uh, of those five players, Yankos and import mid, FBI, who he someday, that all of a sudden becomes a very, very scary team. Like we already see how good 100 Thieves is right now so far this season in the LCS. Um, but people are definitely worried about DeMonte in best of fives at international competitions. Maybe he continues to get better and better. Maybe he gels with his team really well. But you got to think that 100 Thieves, if they could get Yankos and a package deal with maybe a European mid laner or something like that, um, that that would be pretty interesting for him, but also pretty enticing for Yankos to come over, make a bunch of money, and be on a team that would have a chance to go to Worlds and still be successful internationally. And if he does eventually want to be like a streamer and stuff, uh, 100 Thieves is amazing at growing players' brands and recognition and stuff like that, especially a player as big as Yankos. Um, but also, Yankos just coming over to North America to, to get access to another fan base, another audience, uh, and, and just keep growing that way. I think it would be uh, really, really good for him in a ton of ways. The other team that I think makes a ton of sense is scrolling down a little bit, down to Team Liquid. I've talked about this previously, where Team Liquid, their jungler, Santorin, is only on a one-year deal. His contract is going to be expiring November 16th, 2021. They signed a one-year deal for a reason. They obviously want to see how things go with Santorin. Um, yes, he's a very, very good jungler in North America right now. But this is the same situation uh, with Core JJ being, uh, this is his third year trying to get his green card. And if he's able to get that at some point this year, they would open up another import slot next season where they could potentially go uh, land Yankos and just add him to this kind of superstar studded roster that they have. Uh, again, it depends how things go this year. How good does Santorin look? How good does Team Liquid do international? Nationally, but you know Team Liquid loves spending money. You know Steve loves getting uh, the biggest, best players and looking to upgrade his team constantly. And if Yankos was on the market, uh, you know, if Team Liquid didn't have a jungler, obviously if St. Torn became a free agent, I have to think that Team Liquid would be one of the most likely landing spots for Yankos. I think it just makes a ton of sense. Those are the two teams that I think uh, would be the favorites to land Yankos. I guess I would probably say Team Liquid number one and Hunter Thieves two. Uh, and then the third team, an outside shot, 
I think would be cloud nine. Obviously, uh, he has the history with perks and there might be something here. Uh, now blabber obviously is a very, very good jungler. He's a resident. He's a young guy, uh, who is just an absolute beast. But same thing here with Cloud9, their history has been uh, getting young players, building them up, and then selling them off for a ton of money. Uh, and Cloud9 would be able to get an insane bag for Blabber. There is so many North American teams who would throw, uh, I mean, any team with money would throw a ton of money at Cloud9 to get Blabber. And yes, you know, you could argue, it does it make sense to get rid of a young jungler for maybe a, uh, an older guy who is maybe t going towards the end of his career, you know, retirement home memes, whatever. But it would at least be interesting for Cloud9, uh, perks would definitely be uh, vying for it i'm sure uh, so that would be interesting now in this scenario it would also depend on if sven is able to get residency status and able to get his green card or if cloud nine would be willing to move on from sven maybe potentially sell him off too they could sell sven and blabber off get a ton of money both of those guys would have insane value uh and then this would be either king going to 80 carry for them if, if they think he's ready if they think he is really going to be a beast which a lot of people do believe that uh or potentially going with a another resident an 80 carry um if they were able to land somebody with the money that they'd be getting from sven and blabber um again i do completely agree that this is probably the most unlikely solution uh and the most unlikely scenario but with perks there with mythy there it, it makes uh you know they have some of these european connections they might be able to entice yankos into coming over but uh, at the end of the day, whatever happens, I think it is just really interesting to know that these options are even on the table. It's going to make the rumors, the speculation, all that stuff so much more fun over the course of the season. And again, I don't want to say I told you so, but I called this out like a week or two ago. Some people had some words to say, but hopefully, uh, you know, maybe they're starting to believe a little bit more now. Again, I do not think this makes it official. I don't think it means Yankos is coming to NA, book it, anything like that. But it at least makes it an option. It at least makes it a possibility. And it is going to be a ton of fun to follow this story going forward. But that is pretty much everything for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Really, really helps my channel out way more than you guys probably even know. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this situation? Do you think Perks is memeing? Uh, do you think Yankos is actually coming to NA? And which team do you think would make the most sense? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on anything we talked about in today's video. I keep punching my headset. Uh, subscribe to save day on my latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then. Peace.